A welcome to today's sports report. First up, Dominica suffered their third straight loss at the 2016 Jean Pierre Caribbean Netball Association Under-16 tournament as they went down to Jamaica last night in Barbados. Dominica went down 32 to 17. The Nature Island team suffered defeats from St. Lucia on Saturday, Barbados on Sunday, and Jamaica on Monday evening. The score again 32 to 17. The shooting stats for Dominica. Selena Langley with 10 from 15 tries and Kayla Telemark with 7 from 10 tries. The national team's next opponent is Antigua. And let's hope they and pray that the girls can upset the Antiguan team and turn things around. In basketball, the issue of an indoor surface on an outdoor court continued to pose serious challenges for basketballers as another game in the DABA 2016 season was called off due to slippery conditions at the Massac had caught. A brief shower just before the start of the Division I encounter between the Blazers and Ronald Charles Wheelie Barbershop All-Stars caused the surface to be unsafe for play. A plastic indoor surface was recently fitted at the Massac had caught by the Dominica Amateur Volleyball Association in order of volleyball having a new home. The new surface may look pretty attractive but can be very slippery and dangerous when wet. None of the games scheduled from last week Wednesday have been completed. All attempts to get a comment from the president or the vice president of the DABA proved unsuccessful today. And in football, Dominican national forward Julian Wade registered a brace for his guy in his club, Slingers FC, as they further strengthened their position at the top of the standings with another flawless performance when they blanked out Buxton United 2-0. Wade, who is in some fine form following a hat-trick for Dominica against the British Virgin Islands in their 7-0 win in the Scotiabank CFU Men's Caribbean Cup Round 1 match last week, banged in goals in each half to formalize Slingers FC's win and hold at the top of the table. Julian Wade scored in the 5th and 50th minute as his team maintained their unbeaten run in this, the finale of the league, their 7th in as many matches to sit comfortable on 21 points, 5 clear of their nearest rival, Fruta Conquerors. Still with football action, Ali Jatit scored five times as Dive Dominica Harlem United hammered Bomber Starlights 7-0 at the Benjamins Park in the Dominic Women's League. In the other match played at the Newton Savannah, New Generation Sports Club defeated the Mahu Soccer Strikers 3-1. Newly signed Donisha Xavier scored two and Miriam Elwin won for New Generation Sports Club. Sharon Sira scored the lone goal for the Strikers. West Indies women cricketers closed in on fourth-ranked India after they pulled off a major upset to capture the T20 World Cup in India. West Indies women who completed an emphatic eight-wicket victory over the Australian women in the final moved up to 104 points, just three behind India. Australia has managed to keep its top rating and is closely followed in second place by semi-finalist England, which has dropped a point and now five points behind the Aussies. New Zealand has also gone down a point and at 115 is 13 behind the leaders in third place. West Indies women players also rose significantly in the, the rankings released by the ICC on Monday. Player of the final, Haley Matthews was rewarded with a 26th place jump in the batting rankings and a 22th place move up in the all-roundest rankings. Matthews, who top scored in the final with 66 and was the key to West Indies' successful run chase against Australia, is now within striking distance of the top 50, while her senior colleague Marissa Aguilera has advanced to 47th position. The West Indies senior men's team has consequently moved ahead of New Zealand in the second place. ICC World 2020-2016 champions West Indies has a number one ranked India firmly within its sights after it became the only side to win the tournament twice. The West Indies are now on 125 points, one point behind India, which lost to the eventual champions in Mumbai in the second semi-final. Player of the final, Samuels, returned to the top 20. Joe Root breaks into the top five for the first time, and player of the tournament, Virat Kohli, remains world's highest ranked batsman. 
West Indies Cricket Board has publicly reprimanded Captain Darren Sami after his criticism in the wake of his side's victory over England in the ICC World T20 Final. Sami said in his post-match interview that his team felt disrespected by the board, referring to the lengthy pay dispute that had put their participation in the tournament in jeopardy. In a statement, the president, Wyclef Dave Cameron, said he would like to apologize for what could be deemed inappropriate comments made by the West Indies male captain, Darren Sami, in a post-match interview and would like to apologize on behalf of WICB to the millions of fans who witnessed. The president has also pledged to inquire the reason and will have the matter addressed. The statement continued. The WICB, however, also used its statement to reveal it wanted to meet with the West Indies players after this year's IPL, in which many of the country's world's T20 winners are due to play to seek common grounds and ensure the stars are more regularly available for international games. Here's a glimpse of that comment once more from West Indies T20 skipper at the post-match interview after winning the world title in India. Take a look. I'm yet to hear from our own cricket ball. That is very disappointing. And for today, I'm going to celebrate with these 15 men and this coaching staff. I don't know when I'm going to be playing with these guys again because we don't get selected for one day cricket. We don't know when we're going to be playing T20. So this win, I want to thank you, my team. I want to thank you, coaching staff. Captain of the West Indies T20 team, Darren Sami. And that concludes the Primetime Sport Report for today. I am Alien Christopher saying goodbye.